We find ourselves flying low over Jakku as TIE fighters chase the Falcon, and we get a message from Finn, which was pretty cool even before the movie came out and we got to know the character. This was the first time a real actor from a real Star Wars movie showed their face in Star Tours. Or at least their non-redigitized face. We chase through this sequence, which we had seen in the trailer before the movie came out, so we were sort of familiar with the setting, and then we crash through the debris and sort of land at this angle, which is a really uncomfortable angle to dangle, and then there's scavengers who are collecting scrap to trade to Simon Pegg for portions, but we blast through and make it out of there. Now, here's the thing. I think this sequence is a lot of fun, but it did kind of irreparably break Star Tours canonically. Before this sequence, Star Tours The Adventures Continue always took place in Rogue One times or thereabouts, and sure, it was a stretch that the Empire was using Trade Federation control ships at the same time as they were using Star Destroyers, but it was still within the realm of possibility, canonically, that they were using all these tactics at the same time. When this scene was added, the rest of the ride took place in Rogue One times, except for this one moment where we detour to Force Awakens times, stay there for the BB-8 hologram, and then rush back to Rogue One times. Granted, we don't know for sure when BB units were invented, so it's possible that BB-8 was already working with the Rebellion at this point, we just never saw him in any of the movies. But Finn should not be an adult. Even if Finn is a lot older than he looks, and he was already born in this era, at best he's John Boyega someday later, now he's just a small fry. Now they did try to address this eventually. Once they added more sequel trilogy planets, they did change things up so that you always get a consistent era when you're riding. They even went back and re-rendered the two opening sequences, replacing Darth Vader with Kylo Ren, and replacing the tiny Han Solo with the tiny Rey and BB-8 for these sequences. That does show a commitment to going above and beyond, but it also means that until you board the flight, you're kind of in Schrodinger Star Wars era. Are you right before the original trilogy, or are you during the sequel trilogy? You don't know until it takes off. Even if you see reference to Alderaan in the queue, you don't know if that's just out-of-date information, or if Alderaan really still exists at this point. And yet both eras, a good three or four decades apart, are using Star Speeder 1000s. Did the debacle with Rex and the Death Star set the company so far back that they not only had to send Rex to Batu to be a DJ, they also had to downgrade from the Star Speeder 3000s back down to the 1000, where 3 vo could make the exact same mistake he had already made multiple times decades earlier? The crazy thing is, even 20 years ago, I would not be asking these questions. Well, not seriously anyway. It's expanded universe. The Star Wars EU has always been a self-contradictory mess because it has very little oversight. It's not a cohesive vision of art. It's a merchandise category that George technically approves but doesn't double check. But Disney and Lucasfilm have made such a big deal out of all new expanded universe products being canon. The other theme park stuff is canon. The aftermath of Rise of the Resistance is why Hux is the way he is in Rise of Skywalker. And I just can't help but feel there was an unspoken asterisk where Disney meant to say, all Star Wars Expanded Universe is canon except Star Tours. That said, even when George was in charge, the Star Wars universe was based largely on justifying mistakes via retcon, so I'm sure any day now we'll get a full series on Disney Plus explaining the full ins and outs of just how every Star Tours ride profile fits into the canon. It'll be a really boring story, but it'll make more sense than anyone except me needs it to. I am available to write this series, 